exerciser beware. Exerciser beware. And I'm saying that because this is the real um, emphasis of the talk today. We can't fool ourselves, and we, I think we all know this that are in the audience right now, that there's not much question, that despite all what we do training-wise, there's, there's maybe a select you know, handful, if that many, that can kind of eat whatever they want and not have any deleterious effects, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, it, it's a powerful modifier, what we eat. And so ultimately, what we eat, what we nourish ourselves with, is going to determine how well we achieve exercise. And so I'd like to say, listen, nutrition, what you eat, in just about every case, trumps exercise. And I don't say that lightly. I'm an exercise physiologist, muscle and nutritional biochemist, but I, I really believe very fervently in the benefits of exercise. But I'm a realist too. And I know that nutrition trumps it. What you put into your body, when you put into your body, how you put it into your body, trumps that exercise that you do. So this was from the recent um, series of Time articles that came out talking about exercise. But one little muffin in the morning you know, can squash a lot. And that's a good example. You have to go in and pound away at weights for two hours to get rid of that muffin that you just ate. So. You know, be careful. Nourish yourself with the right food. I'm not saying that a muffin isn't energy. It's a lot of energy. It's just not very nutrient dense. It's very energy dense. The main thing I want to get across here is to have an appreciation that our body needs nutrients. Our bodies need nutrients. And we need specific nutrients depending upon the type of training that we do. So, as I said before, if you're doing that high intensity, all out maximal exercise, your body needs to replenish that energy store. You need to replenish your muscle glycogen. So when you're doing those high intensity interval bouts of 30 seconds to four minutes, you need to replenish with carbohydrate stores. I mean, there's no doubt about it, particularly after. But what you also need to do, because it's very, very strenuous, very taxing on your muscles, you need to make sure that you're taking in some protein as well. If you're doing one of those longer duration, steady state level type exercises, you don't need a lot of fast acting sugar maybe during to sustain that level of output, but after you don't necessarily need a lot. Your body's gonna replenish that, you haven't taxed it really significantly, you haven't surely burned a lot of protein, unless you're going for a really long period of time, like four hours or more, like a marathon, um, and not having eaten properly. But if you're hydrating and you're consuming some gels and you're um, taking in some carbohydrate, electrolyte uh, drinks during a longer duration exercise, you don't need that much protein after, other than what you would normally get in your diet. So they, they influence each other. The reason I'm bringing that up is because you have very, very specific metabolic and biochemical needs. Very specific. And your body, I mean, your body knows it. If you've not eaten, if you have eaten, if you've exercised really vigorously at a high, high, super maximal intensity, or you've gone for a very long duration type exercise, listen, you have all kinds of messengers and signals and enzymes that are saying, I need to replenish this energy store. I mean, it's just a natural occurrence. That's the body's safeguard. But guess what? Your cognitive brain, and we have such a hard time with this in our society, your cognitive brain trumps your metabolic, physiological, biochemical needs. And that's really disturbing. And the only reason is because we have so much external stimuli telling us otherwise. And so even though your body is kind of sending these little subtle messages, sometimes really powerful, that it needs certain nutrients, your thoughts, and again, they've done this research, your thoughts, your cognitive thinking about certain foods will trump those physiological needs. Did I have a question in the back? Yeah, a woman on my master's rowing team a couple years ago, we were at Master's National.